Hey everyone, in the last video what we saw was like how exactly you backup multiple Cisco routers and switches using uh, Python automation uh, using the model uh, Paramico and uh, we used a CSV file instead of hard coding uh, the IP address and the credential on the uh, script itself. So we use a CSV file in order to back up the routers and switches, right? That was uh, much more, uh, you know, beneficial than hard coding the credentials and the IP address on the script, right? Because you don't want anyone to mess up with your script, but uh, instead people can, you know, modify the CSV file if there is any addition or removal of the network devices on um, your premises, right? Now, we covered uh, these two things, right? One is either using the um, hard coding the credentials or IP address on the script, and another one is like reading a CSV file, getting the information, and backing up the router. Now, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to run this schedule on certain uh, time interval. So, what does it mean? So, let's assume you have lot of network devices on your um, premises right now you want to back back up them but you don't want to back up them manually every day right so you want them to be backed up automatically uh, at, at every uh, x number of days or x number of hours right obviously x number of hours is something you'll not look for much but x number of days is what you look for for example one day or every day or every seven days you want to back it up Right, so it depends on what your uh, company's norms are. So let's say you want to back up uh, those devices every X number of days, and you don't want a manual interruption to happen. You don't want to do it manually, so it has to be done automatically. So what you can do is you can import a um, you know module called schedule. So a schedule is the module that you have to import in order to back it up uh, automatically, right, on a certain schedule. So schedule in schedule, you are going to define how exactly the um, script has to run, right? Now what you what we'll do is here is most of the configuration is the same here, whatever we have used in the previous sessions, right? What changes here is this. Now what we are defining here is schedule. So what we are saying is schedule the configuration to run every day right and you're calling the function basically and you are creating loop which is an infinite loop that if in case if the schedule is not met keep it running right and you are saying like uh, run it every one second if in case the schedule is not met whatever you have defined then you are going to run it if in case if the schedule is matched whatever you have defined then it will run the script and again run an infinite loop uh, and continue uh, the script so let me show you what exactly i mean right now if i try to run this script let's see what happens okay all right, so first and the foremost, right, I got an error as there is no module named schedule. So what we have to do is we have to install this model schedule. We have to enter this command pip install schedule. So let's enter this. So it is going to install the schedule model. Now what we'll do is we'll run the script again and see what happens now. Okay, now you notice, right, uh, nothing happened here. You, you don't see any output. Why? It is because the script is continued running right now and it might have not met with the schedule or schedule might have not, um, uh, uh, the, the occurrence of the schedule has not uh, matched. So what I'm going to do is, in, in order to show you, right, I'm going to make it run every minute so that you know what exactly it looks like so let me modify the script to run every minute and then show it to you all right so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like schedule run every one minutes dot do main and save the script. Now let's see what happens. Okay, the schedule is not yet run. So let's give it some time to run. In the meanwhile, I'm going to delete this existing to configuration, which is not required. So let the configuration backup happens automatically. Okay, so if you notice, right, uh, the configuration uh, ran ex uh, around 8.56 my time here. And I was able to, you know, uh, get the running configuration because in the router, I've defined only one IP address. So what I'm going to define, I'm going to define another IP address here, 201 and there, 123. So this, this both configuration should back up exactly at, uh, you know, um, in one minute right i'll delete this configuration so 857 the configuration should back up and it should back up for both the routers so the pu purpose why, why i'm showing you one minute is because i wanted to show you like um, i mean you can customize it like you can do it every hour or every day whatever is your requirement right so let's wait Okay, so it has run the configuration for both the files. So now if you notice, right, so it is doing the job, uh, whatever is required uh, for it to do every minute, or we can also customize it like every RD basis. Okay, now let's say if you want to do it every RD. So what I'll do is uh, schedule every, here I'll make it as uh, R domain, right? So what it will do is it will run the schedule every hour. Now, let's say if I want to run it on at a particular certain uh, time, for example, um, every day at certain time, uh, schedule dot every, and then what I'm going to do is every day dot at, then I'm going to define the time. For example, let's say I define the time at 0, 08, and then 59 859 is the time that i have defined dot oh it's already 859 so i'll make it as 09 9 am dot do mean right and i'll save this configuration so what will happen is every day at 9 am it will back up the configuration let me delete this configuration So let's wait for 9 a.m. to happen and then it should pack up the configuration automatically. <laughs> right, few more seconds. yet to take 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. just started now. So if you notice exactly at 9 a.m. the configuration was copied. Now what will happen is if we keep this script running every day, every day 9 a.m. the configuration file will get copied 
uh, automatically to the SFTP server. Now, let's say you have a requirement where you don't want to do it and at every day is scheduled 9 a.m., right? You wanted to only do it on a certain uh, date, uh, certain day. For example, uh, I'll make this copy this. I'll make it as like this. Every then let's say um, Saturday at 9.02 a.m. domain, right? So what you're saying is every Saturday, the script should run at 9.02 or maybe 9.02 I'll, uh, I'll make it, right? And save this file. And now if I run this configuration, so it will only run the backup file on Saturday only, not on any other day, right? So you can customize this as per your requirement, maybe hourly, maybe daily, maybe weekly, maybe minute wise as per your requirement and continue running the script. So this will save a lot of your time and a lot of your effort. Another thing to notice, right? If I'm running this file on every minute basis or every day basis, we have to make sure that the file, what we are running right now, um, has a unique identifier. So which means right now the files which are getting copied on this device is named as running underscore config underscore 172.160.200. And this is for the second file. Let's say if the file continues running till tomorrow or maybe next Saturday, again, the file will be renamed as the same file or this file will get overwritten. So in order to, you know, uh, play safe or you have the safe configuration, right? You should always, you know, add some variables along with the date and time, probably, which should uh, say like when um, uh, when this configuration backup happened. For example, uh, when you're running this configuration backup, so in this uh, when you're uploading the file as well as um, uh, basically when you're um, saving the configuration right here, so you define a um, time. For example, DDMMYY format. So, you know, this particular file was run at so and so date, so and so month, and so and so year. If you want to include R as well, so put HHMM as well as per your requirement. So, that file will always have a unique file. So, something like this. So, just to give an example here, I'll just name the file name. So, right now, the file name is coming as this. So, it will be something like this running configuration, maybe DDMM mm yy hh mm underscore running so it will be like let's say today is uh, 1603 2024 underscore or uh, then time would be 0903 underscore running config and then the ip address right so which means you have defined the time and the file becomes unique whenever the schedule is run right so I hope this video is informative for you. Thank you for watching.